All right, so here he is, one of the best lightweights in the world, Dustin Poirier, putting that status on the line yet again here tonight. Great frame for this lightweight division. It's amazing to think he had as much success at featherweight as he did. Long arms, good footwork, nice submissions as well. This is truly a 5 2 play. Yes, he's one of the best fighters in the lightweight division, and it shows every time he steps foot in the octagon. In a victim's list, that includes Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway. You know when you're looking at Dustin Poirier that he is one of the best fighters in the UFC's lightweight division and has the frame to compete up, and he's shown that before he was a featherweight, so a guy that may compete over three weight classes over his UFC's career. And we remind you, when he faced Max Holloway at UFC 236 for the interim lightweight title, Holloway came in with a 13-fight winning streak that Poirier promptly ended that fateful night in Atlanta, Georgia. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents, always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, sambo, jiu-jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not completely. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting. Out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Mimagomeda! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to front. I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag his fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Great punch landing with so much power. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strikes with anybody in the UFC. Oh, now going to the elbow. Nicely done there by Poirier. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and bunches. He's doing a great job. How 
good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Dustin Poirier. Back to the overhand left, no good. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Medoff. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. <laughs> Big power shot there. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, you can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. He is all about that left kick to the body. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. 34 total strikes have landed for Dustin Corey. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Meadow. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Nice. Right punches there. Out of range with that one. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, nice straight left there. Head kick. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, big right hand, yes. Outstanding kick there by Nermago Medov. Overhand is true. Magomedov's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, nice. Big punch lands. Poirier's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch from the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the zone. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Poirier gets caught with that punch. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Poirier gets hit by that kick to the body. Just misses with the jab. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for this. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Got clip with the right hand. 
flips to avoid the right. Poirier does a better job when he's the guy going forward. Able to land with the left hand there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. The unofficial numbers, 92 total strikes, have landed for Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And connecting with a 39% accuracy right here tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow sucks to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Magomedov gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Poirier's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. A big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You see. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Now he lands early and he lands off. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just missed with the left there. And he landed the right hand there. Great punch. Beautiful head kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. I mean, look at the commitment to kick that Up to the head, lands flush there by Nurmago Medov. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Top the shot pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing. Over the top, and now his opponent in a full jump. Beautiful level change. They can think he's going low and go right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. What a punch. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Keep your distance. Keep your distance now. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nurmago Medov gets touched by that leg kick attempt. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Blocks the shot. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Just misses with the straight right. Form. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. 
but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fight over here tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist. <laughs> into his opponent's body with that body kick. Down, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Poirier gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Big kick lands. The next with a right. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. The updated numbers, 187 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. And striking at a 40% clip tonight thus far against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Nice punch land. Big leg kick land. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out with A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to stand. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, oh, those are those. Oh. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 59 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by knockout, Dustin the Diamond Ball. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career.